Hello, Chris Campbell here with RCAirplaneBuilders.com showing you another tutorial on how to set up uh, your brushless motor, uh, battery, and ESC uh, for your airplane. Um, all of these are new and I'm going to be showing you a couple of different tutorials in different parts. Um, we'll put the motor to the side just for a second and we're going to show you the ESC. Um, if you buy most of your ESCs that you buy that you're going to get Pacific for your engine. Uh, this in this case ESC is a 20 amp because we're running a 450 park um, motor which is an 890 kV. It's a uh, 450 size brushless motor. You will have two exposed wires. You will have your neutral and your positive. Uh, basically what you're going to do and I'm going to show you this one in a, another tutorial that you can find on my YouTube uh, channel. We're going to take the bullet collars, we're going to solder them in place and place the uh, positive end cap onto it. So when you go to take your battery and your ESC, it'll connect just like so. Uh, you always want to be sure when you connect an ESC to your battery that you have black on black, red on red. If you do reverse parallel, if you do the reverse wiring, it will short out your thing. Parerity, I think, is the word I'm looking for. It's an odd word. Uh, but now back for the motor mount. This is a brand new motor. I'm going to show you, if you've never opened one up, what you're going to do and how you're going to set it up. Uh, basically, your motor has three wires running from it. You're going to match those three wires with the wires coming from out of the back. So on the left side, you would have your red which is going to go in here. On the opposite side you have your black which is going to go there and the blue wire is usually the ground it'll go into the middle. So we'll put these to the side. Now once you have uh, measured where your motor is going to be actually mounted to on your airplane's firewall you will first take this, this is your motor mount and mark the holes where you're going to be bolting the motor to your firewall. Once you have done that, you're going to take the motor mount and place it on the back lining up the holes. You're going to take one of the small screws. I would recommend using Loctite on these screws because these will ensure that they will not back out during flight. Uh, as a matter of fact, I saw a person at our local flying field who did not use Loctite and he was running his motor at very fast speeds and it was his uh, mate and voyage on his airplane and all of a sudden the motor flew in one direction and the plane actually quit working and he had to glide it in as a dead stick. Needless to say it took him a while to find the motor because once it disconnected it still kept on going a good little ways before it finally fell to the, to the ground. But uh, beforehand, I would put either blue or red Loctite onto the screw heads, or the screws themselves. And that would ensure that your mount stays fully intact. Now the next part we have is our spinner and our collet. Uh, the reason I call this a collet, I'm a machinist, so this kind of resembles a collet that you would normally find on a milling machine. So. Basically what you're going to do is take the collet, place it onto the shaft of the motor. Then you're going to take the spinner part. Be sure that the rough end is facing away from the motor. Next we're going to be placing our prop onto the screw and placing the spinner or the nose cone onto the prop and you will start by tightening everything down. And that is how we set up our motor for mounting. Uh, please check out my next uh, YouTube channel's uh, tutorial on how to solder your ESC connections, bullet connections, and also on how to mount and set up and wire the motor and test it before you actually take it for a test fly. Again, this is Chris with rcairplanebuilders.com.